you guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name's Nicole and today I want to talk about something that I wish I had learned a long time ago and that's this idea that acceptance and approval are very different things when I was younger mostly in high school I literally depended on the approval and acceptance of other people I thought that if someone didn't approve of my lifestyle or my decisions, then they didn't accept me. They were rejecting me. And that caused me to literally bend over backwards to try to be what other people wanted me to be instead of simply being myself. And I truly think that when we are authentic and when we're the best versions of ourselves, that is when we have the most to give to this world. And so I was doing myself such a disservice for so many years trying to be what everyone else wanted me to be instead of just being myself and it was crazy not that long ago when I came to this realization that so much of my life was trying to reject who I felt like I was and instead trying to be someone or something that other people around me would approve of and the reason I was doing this the reason that I think so many of us do this is because we are taught to crave acceptance we're taught that we you know want to fit in we want this community for a lot of us i think we get into this mindset that you know nobody accepts me nobody understands me nobody relates to me like who i am to my core will never be enough for everyone else i think a lot of us can slip into that type of thinking and that mindset and the craziest thing that happened to me was realizing that just because others don't agree with me doesn't mean they don't accept me. By becoming vegan, I was able to see this firsthand and it was so eye-opening because I was vegan, I was eating this plant-based diet, and of course everyone around me was not vegan, but going to friends' houses and seeing that they made a separate dinner specifically for me that was vegan or you know, having people buy me specific products that they checked were vegan first or going out of their way to support me. It's like, they don't agree with me, but that doesn't mean they aren't accepting me for who I am. And because I felt that acceptance, it made me want to accept them exactly the way they were. It doesn't mean that I approve of them, you know, eating meat. It doesn't mean that I agree with that decision. Obviously, I'm living my life the way that I want to because I think that's the best way to be. We all are like that. We all make decisions that we think are best for our own lives. And instead of forcing that on other people, instead of saying, you have to agree with me, you have to think just like me, or I want nothing to do with you. Instead, we can accept each other for who we are individually, where we're at in life, and understand that you can still be friends or be family or be a community and not necessarily approve of each other's lifestyles or decisions and still accept each other where you're at. And by feeling so unbelievably accepted as a vegan, and supported and encouraged and you know people understood that this was something that I cared about and so they were on board and supportive even though they weren't going to do it for themselves that made me want to be even more accepting of other people even if I didn't approve of their decisions and even when it comes to things that are more controversial like politics or religion things that we fundamentally to our core disagree on acceptance is different than approval because acceptance is something that you do within yourself so i see so much negativity in this world you know we see racism we see bigotry we see homophobia we see toxicity and things that make life feel so unfair and we cannot comprehend how other people can support these things right but just because we don't approve of other people's conclusions doesn't mean that we can't accept that that's the reality that we live in right now accept that this is where they're at because acceptance is something we do for ourselves acceptance brings peace internally 
when you have inner peace, I just watched Kung Fu Panda and it's like, inner peace, inner peace. But when you have inner peace, it, it comes with acceptance. And that's one of the biggest differences that I can stress with approval is that just because you accept something doesn't mean you support it, doesn't mean you approve of it. It means that you're at peace with it. You're at peace with other people, with other things. And that doesn't mean that you're not going to fight for change. That doesn't mean you don't want progress. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that you're not going to try to be an advocate. Like look at all those vegans that are, you know, out there doing all this amazing work trying to show people what they've already made the connection to, which is the animal cruelty and all of these things that I've talked about before. Just because you accept something doesn't mean that you have to sit and not do anything about it. But I do think it comes to a point where, you know, there might be certain people that we encounter in our lives that flat out say, I'm never gonna change. I'm never going to be vegan. I'm never going to be your religion. I'm never gonna be your political party. I'm never going to agree with you. So right then and there, you're like, okay, we're never gonna agree. We completely disapprove of each other's stances. That's where I think acceptance is so vital and so important because because if you don't just accept it and try to focus on inner peace, you're going to destroy yourself. You're going to live with such agony and despair because you're going to be so hurt and upset all of the time. I know it's hard when there's people that you care about that see the world so different than you do. But it's important to understand that we were all born into different lifestyles, born into different scenarios. We were all raised differently. And that's going to change how a person is when they're older. That's going to be the foundation for the opinions they hold and the worldview that they have. And accepting that will make it easier to just accept them for who they are, even if you don't agree, even if you will never approve. There is this quote that I love, and I think it's from Maya Angelou, and it's basically saying that, you know, when you travel or when you meet other people and you see that everyone laughs and everyone cries and everyone eats and then everyone dies, it might show us that we have more in common and that if we put our differences aside, we might actually become friends. And that's something that I've really been focusing on more and more and more is that we will always have more things in common and more things that we can agree on because we're all human beings. So instead of focusing so much on what you disagree on, just accept people for who they are. Accept people where they're at. Don't try to change other people, but live the best life that you can possibly live. Because when you're the type of person that makes other people better, you will unconsciously be inspiring people to change. You'll be impacting their life and you might not even know it. So instead of focusing so much on wanting everyone to agree with you and being the type of person that you can approve of before you accept them, accept them first. Accept them where they're at because I've been there. If you live your entire life being so upset with the world and the people in it, you will not be living a happy life. You'll be living a life of agony. You'll be so, so hurt by all of the pain in this world that you will overlook the good. You'll overlook the amazing human connections that we can make with people we never thought we would find a common interest with. So when you bring this idea back to yourself and your own life, surround yourself with people that accept you for who you are. If they are constantly trying to change you, if they won't be your friend unless you agree with them, then they probably aren't the best people to have in your life. But if they disagree with you, if they hold a different opinion, but if they still love you and support you to the best of their abilities, then I would focus on that. Because we don't have to agree with everyone. This world is a very big place with a lot of different opinions and a lot of different worldviews. And that's why I think it's so important for you to be authentic and for you to be yourself. And when you are unapologetically yourself, you can start focusing on being the best version of that. 
when you are the best version of yourself, you are giving so much back to the world just by being you. Because when we recognize how powerful we are, we won't be underestimating our abilities. We will be shooting for the stars. There are a lot of people in this world and there are going to be many people who don't approve of your lifestyle or the decisions you make. But there will be people who still accept you no matter what. However, there will also be people who won't accept you. And life is too short to be surrounding yourself with people who don't accept you for who you are. Who are constantly making you feel bad, trying to get you to change, trying to get you to be like them, or just to be different in general. Be yourself. Love who you are. Don't feel bad about you know, doing something different. Don't feel like you're letting down your friends or your family members by being yourself. So often we try to be good enough for other people, but just be good enough for yourself because that's what it comes down to. Are you spending your whole life running away from things that are painful? I spent a lot of my life using labels to define myself and trying to be good enough for other people and I think ultimately I just needed to accept myself for who I was. I liked who I was, but I was convinced that I shouldn't. I was convinced that I needed to be different. That's what other people told me and I was just believing them. And I was just trying to seek approval from other things and other people. However, when you can approve of yourself and when you can accept yourself, you won't need the acceptance or the approval of other people. And that is what's so important because so often I think we surround ourselves with people that aren't really good for us just because we feel like no one else will accept us or no one else is around. And so these are the only friends that I have right now. This is the only family that I have right now. I have to be what they want me to be or I'll have nobody. But that's where self-worth comes into this because when you have self-worth, and when you know your value and when you love and accept yourself and you approve of the decisions that you make, it won't matter what anyone else thinks. When I was in college, I lived on campus and we had a dining hall and I would sometimes go like after class or before class and I'd be by myself. And there used to be this like stigma about eating alone. Like I know in elementary school or junior high, it was like, you're such a loner, like you're eating by yourself. You have no friends, like you must be a loser. I mean, that's how I felt when I was like 12. But there was this quote that I found that I absolutely loved when I was in college and trying to find myself. And it said, I know what I bring to the table, so I'm not afraid to eat by myself. And that is something that I have repeated so many times because it's honestly so true. When you can be alone by yourself and be happy and accept yourself and be proud of the decisions that you make, you won't need the approval of other people. You just need the approval of yourself. So be the best version of yourself, be who you want to be, be authentic and share that with the world. Because we need more people who are so focused on just giving their best to the world and not just getting by, but truly living. So anyway, I hope this made sense. This was just something that's been on my mind recently because disagreeing with people is something that I don't mind doing. I like being able to have conversations without it being toxic. And when we get to the point where we fundamentally understand that it's okay to disagree, you will feel so centered and so grounded and you'll be so confident in the decisions that you make and you'll be so inspired to live your life to the best of your abilities. So please just understand that, that even if you fundamentally disagree with other people, acceptance is something you do for yourself. It's something that brings you peace and positivity and clarity. Anyway, I hope this video made sense. I feel like I rambled a lot, but I was just trying to get all my ideas out there because it's stuff that I've been thinking about for a super long time. And again, I used to depend on the approval of other people. I used to think that if they didn't approve of me, they didn't accept me. And understanding the difference will allow you to have better, more meaningful friendships. It will allow you to realize that there might be people who do accept you for who you are. And just because they disapprove of your lifestyle or just because they don't approve of certain decisions that you make, 
doesn't mean they're not there for you, doesn't mean they don't love you, doesn't mean they don't care about you. And understanding that other people have the right to their own opinion, just like you have the right to your own opinion, is really important. Because for how much you love being able to live your life the way you want to live it, we have to kind of extend that to other people as well. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything I said that you want me to clarify or touch on further. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to love yourself. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!